in verse 24 it says, When all the men of Israel saw the man, they fled from him and were greatly afraid. That's Goliath. When they saw, now we talked last week about the fact they were first afraid of him when they heard him. Because as faith comes by hearing, so does fear come by hearing. Mm -hmm. But now, since they're already afraid, when they see him come out on the battlefield, they get greatly afraid. All right? It's interesting that in Proverbs, Proverbs 28, 1, it says, The wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be bold. We're not supposed to be moved by what we see, but rather by what we have heard from the Lord. Right. Faith. All right? Because if you are in fear or if you are anxious, filled with anxiety, you're not walking in faith. And if, if anything not done in faith is sin. So you need to repent. So you need to repent and choose to walk and act on what you've heard from God, not by what you feel. You all know Hebrews 11. Hebrews 11. I'm going to read the first three verses, right? Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for. The conviction of things not seen. For by it the men of old gained approval. By faith we understand that the worlds were prepared by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things which are visible. The Hebrew army had been looking in the natural, and what they saw was a giant enemy warrior. We are called to appraise things spiritually. David saw things differently. We're, we're, we're told, and again, this is a commandment. There's no, I don't know, we could try and make a list of all the suggestions in, in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't wear out much pencil with it, I'll tell you what. It says in 2 Corinthians 4.18, While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. We are to fix our eyes on Jesus Christ, the author and finisher, the perfecter of our faith. Because our God calls into being that which does not exist. That's what Paul wrote in Romans chapter 4. And it was David, right, who would later write. Now he, this is little David. He's coming. He's come after this battle or the scene of the encounter. But later on, he would write from experience. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23, 4. Is that your confession? I shall fear no evil. Amen. The enemy has been defeated already. Okay? I want to tell you something. Goliath had already been defeated. God saw that. That's why last week I said, you know, you, we can look at this and see what the Israelites are doing. We can look at this and see what the Philistines are doing. But if you look at the Psalms and see what God is doing, it says he's sitting on his throne and he's laughing because he already knows the end of the matter. Right. So, like I said, you know, we can you can you can sing songs about faith. You can wear nice little pithy sayings on your T-shirts. You can do all these things, but you have to walk in faith. Yes. You've got to actually walk in faith. James, I'm James, Paul, James, Peter. They all say, but I'm going to read James 1.22. Prove, but prove yourselves doers of the word and not merely hearers who delude themselves. Mm. If, if you're not doing the word, you are deluding yourself to think that you are going to be able to say like, Paul, well, I walk always in the triumph of Christ Jesus. Mm. Now, Eliab, his oldest brother, heard when he spoke to the men. And Eliab's anger burned against David, and he said, Why have you come down? And with whom have you left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know your insolence and the wickedness of your heart, for you have come down in order to see the battle. But David said, What have I done now? Was it not just a question? Now, isn't that great? When you walk in faith, the people around, the people closest to you, this is David's brother. Accusing. Accusing. You know why? Because your faith will upset them because it challenges their lack of faith. Yes. Yeah. You should have, have, you should have testimonies in your life that you're building your faith on. Okay? So you know that God is with you and God is able.
Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine.